Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm finally doing a video on my skin. Um, basically what saved it, what I've been using for the past, um, I started using this product in February. So it is now, are we in August? Yeah. Now it's August, the end of the summer, and I feel like it's finally time for me to talk about what I've been using. Um, just keeping it real raw and plain and natural today. I just washed my hair. As you can see, my hair journey is going well. Um, my hair is getting super long. In September, it'll be um, a year since I did my big chop, so my hair definitely has grown a lot. And yeah, so I just got out of the shower, and I just want to talk about my skin. And I have my phone, because I like really want to like make sure I hit all the key points. Okay, so let's talk about the type of skin that I have. So I have oily combination, mostly oily. Um, as I've gotten older, I feel like it's a little bit less oily. Um, I'm definitely oily in my T-zone, very, very, very oily. I have acne-prone skin. I started getting acne like in the seventh grade. Um, I really just started having textured skin and then it led to like pimples and bumps and stuff like that. And then I also had dull acne, <laughs> um, which is unfortunate. And yeah, so I've had quite a journey with my skin. It's really annoying, but... I mean, it is what it is. I know there's people who's, who've had it worse, so I try and be thankful for that. Um, but yeah, I definitely had skin problems uh, most of my teenage life and adult life. Well, let's talk about when I really started to try and tackle my skin. So I, I used like a lot of, like I, went, I had a dermatologist in high school, um, did that, eh. I mean, my skin would get better, then it would get worse, you know, that type of thing. And then it was senior year, right, like a few months before prom, I started getting chemical peels. I forgot where I had heard about them. I think maybe my dermatologist had recommended them. Um, I just really wanted to, like, you know, end high school, go to prom, go to college with really, really pretty skin. So um, I got two of those, and my skin was so amazing, the best it is ever been in my freaking life. Um, if I can find a picture of how my skin looked during that time, I'll insert it right here. Um, but yeah, my skin was amazing. So flawless. Like, it was just beautiful. Um, and then when I went to college, you know, you just go to college and you just get really lazy and it was freshman year. I had gained the freshman 15. My skin had just completely going back to how it was before in high school. Um, so yeah, that's where I was at with it. And then the rest of college, my skin was never horrible. It just, I don't know. It just wasn't what I wanted it to be. Um, I get really bad hyperpigmentation scars. That's the biggest thing for me. Like I never really had cystic acne. I would just get bumps and I, I learned not to touch them and they would still heal into dark marks. So my biggest thing were my marks, you know? I didn't, like I would put on makeup but I really wouldn't have any texture. Like my skin, you would think my skin was actually really pretty under my foundation. But when I would take it off, I would have a lot of scars. Let me just put my hair up because I feel like it's... Okay, so yeah, so that, um... The scars really became the big thing for me. Um, and I honestly was never one of those girls that like, even though my skin wasn't perfect, I still would go to class with no foundation. That's just not, I mean, I, I really feel for, you know, women or, or women who feel like they always need to wear foundation for that reason. Um, I just couldn't, I can't commit to every day putting on foundation and my skin had just gotten so like, just so achy to me that I really didn't want to put anything on top of it. And also for me, a lot of my, um, breakouts are on my cheeks. I don't know what that's a result of, but it was always on my cheeks, always. As you can see, even with my skin looking a lot better and clear, I, a lot of the remaining issue is right on my cheeks. Um, cause I didn't really have hormonal acne, which I think usually pops up around the chin. Um, mine was all just, I think, little acne. I also started to notice I was getting even more a lot more texture once I graduated from college. That was probably for me not exfoliating or uh, really not taking care of my skin like I would put on my highlighter you could probably see it in some of my previous videos and there were just a lot of bumps it was one of those things where like you didn't really notice the bumps until I would put something on top of it you know highlighter really does intensify uh, bumps so I started noticing that and it really pissed me off I started to hate highlight highlighter which you know that's unfortunate so I was getting sick of it and I think it was um it was like December 
December, this past, like, December Christmas time, that I really was like, look, 25, it's time for me to really take care of my skin. I really need to get a skin program down. Um, as a, you know, and as I've gotten older, I really like to be a lot more natural, even with, like, I used to wear sew-ins, and I really don't like doing that anymore. Um, and even with, like, taking care of my hair, and I was like, I really need to take care of my body. That was a thing, too, and my skin. Like, I really need to, like, take control of me and be my best self. I follow this YouTuber. Her name's Alyssa Forever. You guys probably know who she is. Her skin was very similar to mine. It wasn't horrible, but she definitely got pimples. She definitely had marks. She's a lot lighter than me, too, which, you know, her her acne was a lot more prominent because of that. Um, but all of a sudden, it was like her skin was amazing. Like, I was looking at her Instagram one day, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, when she had said she had no foundation on, I was shocked. Like, her skin was so, so amazing. amazing. Um, but she wasn't really saying what she was using. So eventually she made a YouTube video and she was using the acne.org program, um, which is what I'm using. So it is a three step, is it three steps? Three step program. And I finally ordered it. It took me a second because I, I mean, it's like a $90, $95 program. It's not cheap. So I was like, look, and I know when you start a new program, your skin kind of purges and it's a disaster. And I knew, um, like this is around January, that I was going to be going to Coachella. And I was like, look, I need to time this perfectly so that my skin is really like healing and at getting to its best around Coachella. I didn't want to be in the desert, hot, 100 degree weather. My skin's peeling. It looks a mess under my foundation. Like I was like, I have to buy it this week and I have to start, like I have to, it has to come and I have to start it for me to be able to go to Coachella and live my best life basically. So I purchased the Acne.org um, regimen kit that comes with the Acne.org cleanser, which is in this bottle. For the second step, it comes with the actual treatment, which is benzol, benzol peroxide, 2.5%. Um, Looks like this. And then it comes with the Acne.org moisturizer. So yeah, that's the three steps. Um, you're supposed to do that for... I think it's two months, so I really just committed myself to it. Um, I'm going to insert pictures as I go, so you'll see. My skin the first week, like, exploded. I know it's a joke of, like, pepperoni face, but literally, my skin had, like, exploded. It looked the worst that it has looked in years. I was so stressed out. Um, and it wasn't even, I didn't even feel the need to cover them, so I was just going to work and, you know, I was like, I have to let my skin breathe, unfortunately. Like, I just have to be looking like this for the next few months. But my skin was so bad. Like, I have heard that some, some things where people say that purging actually isn't a good thing. I don't know, though, because when I tell you, I put this three steps on my face one night. The next morning I woke up and my skin had literally, like, I had pimples in places I had never had them, which was I stopped, I had stopped really getting acne on my forehead, got pimples there, got tons of them on my cheeks, which I knew was gonna happen, started getting them on my chin, like, sort of getting them like in my like mustache area, like my skin was a disaster, it was so, so bad. Um, but it was okay because I knew that I had time, and really I had kind of fall, I was falling in line with where I should be each week to really like be where I wanted to be by Coachella, which was, Coachella was in April. So I was like, I'm gonna be good. So I think I actually started this like around um, Valentine's Day. First two or three weeks were horrible, I'm gonna be honest. Um, so my skin was purging. My face was so dry, especially coming from someone who has oily skin. So I'm always very nourished and moisturized. My skin, no matter how much of this moisturizer I put on, it like, ate it and then I was just like left with nothing um and then my lips got super dry like it got so bad that like literally I was at work like guys I'm so uncomfortable like being alive you know what I'm saying like my skin just feels so nasty I'm just uncomfortable in my skin like I just feel gross and unattractive but I'm one of those people that I'm willing to kind of like rough it out like even with my hair and rough it out because I know like it's gonna be okay I'm gonna be at my best so, um, yeah, that's how I was kind of looking for two to three weeks, kind of like a month. And 
it was funny because the new pimples I got, they did turn into marks, but then the, those marks cleared up super fast because of the um, three steps. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like I, some of the marks I still have, they're super old marks I've had literally since the beginning of college, probably still from high school. So those are taking a little bit longer, but as you can see, my skin is extremely clear. So I think it's once you're two months in, it's either one month or two months, I think it's two months, you can start using um, the fourth step. So the fourth step is the AHA, it's glycolic acid 10%. So this is basically just from my research and kind of like watching people's YouTube videos about it. This is like really the deal breaker. Like this is what clears up the acne scars if you have them. Um, so I was like geeking to use that product. I was like trying to get through my little month, two months. I was like, I want to start using the glycolic acid because my skin, once it was time to use this, was so smooth. Like my texture, like, like just from doing this, like I had no marks, any little like bumps that I had kind of like accumulated around my cheek, I mean on my forehead, or like what I was talking about earlier about my cheeks had gone away. So I was ready to really tackle these scars. And they tell you do not start using that early because the um the benzoyl peroxide is very it can be very hard on your skin so you really don't want to add another product in the mix so i waited the entire time i think i might have started like three days earlier just because i couldn't wait and i really was like coachella soon i gotta figure this out so i transitioned it into my three steps and i was into four steps and everything was fine um i started seeing I didn't see result, results immediately. My skin was just getting better. You know what I'm saying? Like, the clarity of it. Like, my skin was just looking fresh again. Even, like, the smile lines I had, I feel like using the um, benzoyl peroxide kind of, like, um, not tighten them up, but my face was just looking a little bit tighter right here. So I was okay. Like, my marks were still there, but they were just a lot lighter. Instead of them being dark brown, they were light brown. So then when it came time around, when it came time for like Coachella, I had noticed like significant change in my skin. Um, I still had a few spots with marks. It was just like the clarity. Like I can't really explain it. My skin just looked clear, even with the marks still there. You know, like it's almost like my skin looked dirty before and then by using this program there was just like a cleanness to it um yeah so then when it was time for me to Coachella, go to Coachella my skin I really liked where I was at like I was able to use a um a tinted moisturizer with like a dab of foundation that pretty much covered everything um I made sure to use sunscreen when I was there because I was in the desert. I didn't want my scars to then deepen and darken up because of the sun exposure. So I definitely made sure I used um, some protectant on my face. Like, I was happy. The summer was summer was around the corner. I was like, my skin looks great. Like my goal was to really be able to use a tinted moisturizer BB cream this summer. I was like, I want to be one of those girls. You know, you know the girls who just. Like they got their hair natural and it's just pretty and big and their skin is just glowy and clear and fresh. It looks like they only have like a little mascara and they just have like a little maybe like um, cream blush and they just look youthful and fresh. I'm trying to be one of those girls. You know, it's hard. <laughs> but I was like, that's what I'm trying to be. And then also for the program, they suggested that moisturizer isn't thick enough because at one point it was not to buy their jojoba oil. Their jojoba oil is like $20. I was not buying that. So I ended up just buying my own from Target. It's just the Teak Naturals jojoba oil, 100% pure organic. And dropping some of those in the moisturizer, it really, really helps. It does make you a little bit oily, but anyone who knows me knows that I am always, I always like to glisten to me. I don't mind it. I actually think it makes me look like beautiful and just nicer. Started transitioning or incorporating that into my steps as well. So right now I'm using all four products and jojoba oil. This is me today, as you can see. Um, I just it was so funny because I've been getting like compliments on my skin recently. It's so weird, like people being like, "You have great skin." It's something I've never heard in my entire life. It was really nice to just like finally like be at a place where I can just be cool with my skin you know what I'm saying like I still do my foundation and do you know get beat but I don't but not as much as I used to um just matching the vibe of where I'm at now in my life but um this 
So basically I started in February, so February to March, March to April, April to May, May to, May to June, June to July, July to August. So this is basically six months of using acne.org. Um, I super recommend it, like 100%. Um, I don't know if I'll eventually try to transition out of using it and start using maybe some products just from the drugstore or, you know, something else because it's working for now and I can't wait to see if they're like actually, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm literally blemish free. I haven't gotten a pimple in. I did have a moment on my chin out of nowhere, but I think that might have been hormonal. Um, it happened about two months ago and as you can see, like it's already basically cleared up. But I haven't really gotten pimples, especially on my cheeks, since I started this six months ago. Um, so yeah, really, really like it. You have to dedicate your time to doing this. People don't have the patience. I have a lot of patience for things like this, just like that's just how I am. Um, but you're like not gonna see results right away. Some people, based off watching videos on YouTube, still haven't really seen results and they're like nine months in. Everyone's skin is different. Everyone's in a different place with their skin. My skin was already kind of trying to like do a 360 and come to the good side before I started this. So I think it this really gave it a push. Some people are really deep in their adult acne and it takes a little bit of a longer time. Some people haven't given their skin any TLC and this may take a little bit longer to work. So you really just like take the time. If you don't see, if you're not where you want to be in nine months, do not give up on this because I really think it's amazing. Um, I hope it's not one of those things where your skin gets like used to it and then if I stop using it, it tweaks. I don't think so though because there's been some weeks where I've like forgotten for two days and I haven't really followed the steps how I should and my skin still looks amazing. So I think I just am finally like, over adult acne. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Um, let's see, right now I have on all of the products and then I stopped using the moisturizer. I only put the jojoba oil on my face. I really, really like it. Um, it gives me like a nice little glow. Um, so yeah, maybe I should give you guys a close up. So this is my left cheek. Right cheek. Center of my face. I really want to keep this short and sweet, um, really tell you what I'm using. Um, hopefully this helps. I would love to know if any of you guys have already used this program or you're thinking about using it now that I've recommended it. Let me know in the comments down below. So, you know, as always, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. YouTube tutorial. I can talk, I mean YouTube tutorial. <laughs> Beauty tutorial. I can talk about my hair, anything like that. My new wig that I made that you can see on my Instagram. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys